Sasha here for NetbookNews.com and I'm just about to make my predictions for 2010 for the mobile computing market so that you guys uh, can call me out by the end of 2010 because I was so wrong. Actually, I won't be <laughs> that wrong. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure that 2010 will be finally, finally the global kickoff from mobile computing. Not only for netbooks, because netbooks will be all over the place, and you can be sure that netbooks are even getting cheaper. That means uh, with the Intel Pine Trail platform, with the Pineview CPU, you can be sure that we will see netbooks starting at 250 euros or 300 dollars. We will also see, um, you know, a kind of change in terms of operating systems, because 2010 will be definitely the year of uh, the year for Linux on netbooks. We will see. Uh, Intel's Moblin picking up market shares heavily. We will see Jolly Cloud getting into the market uh, with their final version. And by the end of the year, let's say the second half of 2010, we would see Google Chrome OS on the market. So there are three very, very tough competitors for Microsoft for Windows 7 starter that didn't really have such a good start in terms of netbooks, which is kind of because of the limitation of Windows 7 starter. So not a lot of people are happy with this. So this might be the big chance for Linux customized operating systems for netbooks. Um, another prediction for 2010 will be Android, definitely. Android, so sorry Apple fine boys out there, you know, I also own an, app, an iPod Touch, which is uh, basically uh, an iPhone without the phone module, right? So, um, Android will be all over the place. Um, uh, how can I tell? Especially what I experience over here in Asia. Um, the momentum that Android is picking up over here in the developer community is just enormous. Um, in 2010, we will have roughly between 50, 60, 70 Android devices on the market. While there is only one iPhone, while there are only, let's say, half a dozen of Blackberries, right? And Symbian is also kind of struggling at the moment. Also, Nokia needs to push a little bit to get MIMO into the market. Um, but when we, especially taking a look at the Asian market, just to let you know, China, there are 720 million cell phone users in China. And China just opened the market for 3G licenses by the beginning of 2009. So Chinese people want to serve the web uh, on, on 3G and with the smartphones and you can be sure that they will use Android phones for this. It's a free open source software. Uh, lots of Asian developers are picking it up. So um, sorry Apple guys out there, but 2010 will be the year of Android. What else is there? We still have MIDs, right? We still have tablets. Let's start with the MIDs. Hmm, I still can't see MIDs picking up or just making it uh, in, in huge numbers to the market in 2010 because this market is kind of small. They're getting squeezed in between um, smartphones and netbooks. So MIDs prediction is not that good, right? But we will see different, uh, different smartphones, developed smartphones. We will have the smart books on the market with the Qualcomm Snapdragon platform or with NVIDIA Tegra. And even NVIDIA Tegra 2 is going to be released um, during CES in January. But still, it, it's not looking so good for uh, MIDs. What about tablets? Um, tablets? A tablet PC is just a huge hype, right? You're just announcing today you're going to release a tablet PC in 2010. It will be all over the news. It's mainly because of this Apple tablet rumor. There are a couple of American journalists saying right now it's just a, u a rumor and uh, it won't ever uh, be on the market in 2010. Uh, I'm kind of doubting that. I'm pretty sure that Apple has something to come out uh, in 2010 and we would see even more tablet systems. But there's one thing, when you are not Apple, you won't be able to sell a tablet for five or six hundred dollars. Forget that. So these guys that want to sell the former Crunchpad, now it's called Jojo or whatever, for four hundred ninety-nine dollars, it won't work out at all. Because 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 this device is two hundred dollars more expensive than a netbook, and people still love to have a keyboard, you know, as a main input device. So and therefore, my next prediction is netvertibles. Netbooks with touch screens that you can also use in a kind of tablet mode will be all over the place in 2010. Uh, for CES, you will already see five new devices, whether they are from Asus or from MSI, from Gigabyte, from Acer. 
they will be all over the place. And so in combination with a good and uh, competitive price, it will be kind of hard for tablets to uh, get into, uh, onto the market in huge numbers. So if Apple is going to release a tablet, it will be definitely very, very successful. And besides that, I can see, you know, very, very inexpensive tablets on MIDs for, for below $300 having a chance on the market. So, and finally, my last prediction, what else do we have? We had MIDs, uh, we had tablets. Let's say my last prediction for, this, uh, for 2010 will be um, about CPUs for the mobile computing market. Um, Intel, Intel's Pine Trail platform and even Intel's Mostown platform for handhelds will be all over the place. They will still have a monopoly on the market. We're waiting for some competitors. So hello AMD out there, not only announcing stuff, just bringing it to the market. We definitely need some competition on there. And I finally also hope that more uh, ODMs are picking up the new VR Nano platform because it seems like a very, very competitive CPU and they have a really, really competitive um, um, chipset. So um, if, you, if you're an ODM and you're seeing this video, you might want to take a look at some competitors on the market. And of course we have um, the smart books and they will be very, very aggressive uh, on the market in 2010. So we would see like $150 devices where you can surf the internet with. And um, this sounds very, very interesting. And Qualcomm has, has the capabilities and of course the budget to really penetrate the market finally with these new product class. So yeah, that's my prediction for 2010 and uh, maybe you're going to watch this video like in 2011 and you can prove me wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen.